now we have under 18 compound men gold medal match uh, we have Isar Loi Thorstenson shooting first on target number one then we have Ragnar Smári Jonasson shooting on target number two both shooting for Boyin Archery Club as there's something wrong with the shooting clock I suppose they are looking at but let's see here what Ragnar can do just below and ring uh, these guys are also shooting um, on 18 meters shooting on 40 centimeter uh, target faces but like you can see uh, they have only 10 to 5 uh, 10 to 6 sorry because they need to shoot on separate target faces so they don't ruin their arrows because they can shoot um, it happens they shoot uh, on other arrows because so that's why they have two target faces but Isoloi with a uh, triple line and an asterisk because they can't see which one if it's a 10 or a 9 but the arrow only has to break the line to be counted as a 10 going out next weekend to Turkey competing for their for Iceland in in the European indoor championships in in Samsung Turkey as we see Ragnar not happy with the nine um, knew maybe that it was a bad shot that look that shot looked shake, shaky to me so but nine will do for now as i said earlier here we have a 10 the 10 ring is the inner circle of the, these two circles, so as yeah, Arknaf gets another nine and Isole ties with uh, one point lead in this round, so in total they are tied in score. start for Isar as Ragnar does not find the 10 ring for now Isar has gained the lead for the first time this match does not manage to extend it to 2 And Ragnar gains this one point back, so we're tight again. And Ragnar can take the lead here with a 10. Which he does. Great round from Ragnar, getting 29. And Isar getting 28. Some great shooting here from both guys. Uh, 84 points is the lead and Rag Isar has 83 points so one point that differentiates them now 
we get into round number four. With Isar starting off with a great 10. The great 10. And we can see what Ragnar can do. Also gets a 10. Again, the arrow only has to break the line to be counted as the higher point, so... That counts, but not this one. It's still a 9. And I can extend his lead, but I think this one will stay a 9. Let's see what the judges have to say after the round. And Isar gets another 9. So Ragnar can now extend his lead with... gets another 9 as well, so tight in this round. Uh, as we go into now the final round, Isar has to find the 10 ring and Ragnar has to hold his ground. If he wants to stay on top of this game, he sure gets a 9. Not quite what he wanted, but Ragnar can now put this more out of reach with a 10, which he does get, I think, just about inside the 10, if I'm not mistaken, and this also a 10 from Isar. Reduces the blow. A little bit if we are tight after this round we will go to shoot off where there's only one arrow and then one more to the center will win but that has been put out of reach for Isar and Ragnar only has nine to win as he does get the ten to finish this match in style 